At its peak, the ancient Roman Empire covered a whopping 5 million square kilometers of territories, which consisted of half of Europe, Northern Africa, Asia Minor, and a huge part of the Middle East. From a humble farming village, Rome rose to power and became one of the greatest empires in human history. Rome played a crucial role in shaping the world as we know it today, and the reason why its existence remains to be felt in modern societies. However, the glory of Rome would not have been possible without the legendary Roman legionnaires, who were the most powerful soldiers in classical antiquity that were even considered embodiments of killing machines. Welcome to Bizarre History. Today we look at just how insane you had to be to become a Roman legionnaire. The history of Rome started in 27 BC when Augustus Octavia became the emperor of the Roman kingdom. To protect the land, Rome needed an army that will ensure the safety of the kingdom and its people. Thus, the Roman army was born, which paved the way for a powerful military force known as the Roman legions. As the Roman Empire grew over time, its army also changed and evolved until it created the most powerful killing machine that was extremely feared in the ancient world. The earliest Roman legion was composed of wealthy landowners of Roman citizenship. With so much to lose should the state fall into the wrong hands, the elites were given the privilege to protect and defend Rome as well as their respective lands. As the Roman kingdom ended, the Roman Republic was born and the legions were then ascribed to the consuls, who were the highest elected political officials during the period. It was in this period that the Roman legion was divided into different units that consisted of cavalry, light infantry, and heavy infantry. The cavalry was composed of young and wealthy Roman citizens who were known for their prowess in combat. The Velites were composed of poor Roman citizens who couldn't afford proper equipment and served as scouts as well as vanguards. As a principal unit, the heavy infantry comprised inexperienced, experienced, and veteran legionnaires armed with all the equipment needed in battle. At the time of the late Republic, Gaius Marius, a Roman general and statesman, reformed the units of the legion to provide work opportunities for those who belonged to the poorest classes. The reform changed the fate of the Roman Republic as it created legionnaires that were more loyal to their generals who promised them wealth and glory. With less at stake, the legionnaires followed only their generals, which eventually led to the end of the Roman Republic. With such a vast territory to defend and protect, the Roman Empire had to ensure that they train only the best men in the land. Thus, a recruit had to be tall and healthy in order to pass the selection process evaluated by the military physicians. Once passed, the recruit would then undergo a brutal four-month training period which involved marching, camp building, and weapons training. The recruits were required to march from 30 up to 35 kilometers daily while carrying 20 kilograms of food and equipment in only a span of six hours. It was one of the most vital parts of the training as it was necessary to build enough stamina and ensure that all foot soldiers can march at the same speed once deployed. The success of the Roman battles also depended on how well and fast they were able to build a safe camp. Thus, the camp building was also a crucial part of training. Recruits were taught to build trenches, palisades, walls, and tents in just a matter of five hours. To complete the training requirements, recruits are also required to train twice a day with their weapon skills. From man-to-man -man combat to javelin throwing and battle formations, the recruits were trained to become full-rounded legionnaires prepared for future battles. Also, the recruits were heavily trained to thrust their swords, as this was proven to be more deadly than just mere slashing. Romans were known to be brutal and ruthless, not only to their enemies, but also to their fellow legionnaires who chose to forsake the legion. 
desertion or abandonment of military duty, especially during battle, can lead to fusta arium, which is a severe form of punishment that involved cudgeling a legionnaire to his death. If a Roman legionnaire abandoned his post or ran away, he will be sent to a court-martial, where he will be judged. Once proven guilty, the legionary can either be sentenced to be beaten to death using a thick stick or stoned in front of all of his comrades to see. Desertion was considered an intolerable act as it would endanger the lives of other soldiers in the legion and thus its punishment was harsh. However, the punishment was proven to be effective as other soldiers would rather choose to risk their lives fighting in battles than face the certainty of death at the hands of their comrades. If an entire legion or large group of legionnaires were found guilty or cowardly or mutinous acts, the decimation or decimatio punishment was commonly inflicted. In Decimatio, the guilty legionnaires were divided into ten, and every tenth man was then executed by the other nine comrades through Fustinarium. After the tenth soldier was executed, the remaining soldiers were then given decreased rations and forced to sleep outside the encampment, exposed to enemies as punishment. Although a member of an elite team of soldiers, the daily life of a Roman legionary was not as enchanting as one would hope. On a regular day, a legionary would wake up in his bunk bed located in a barrack block that he shared with his other comrades. He would then dress in his woolen garment, belt, and sandals to enjoy his breakfast at the hearth. The meal would be far from glamorous as well as it would only be composed of porridge, bread, and beans with occasional meat, which didn't happen often. After eating breakfast, the legionnaires then prepare their armor for the morning assembly, where they will all be inspected. Before the assembly ends, everyone will receive their tasks for the day, which may consist of guard duty, patrolling, construction work, maintaining the bathhouses, or worse, emptying the pipes of the outhouses. Aside from the chores at camp, legionnaires are also trained regularly to ensure that soldiers were always prepared for combat. Legionnaires are also more than just soldiers, for they also performed administrative tasks, such as dealing with legal disputes among citizens in nearby towns. A Roman legionary can only enjoy the monotonous while it lasts, for soon the legion will march again to face an imminent battle which he can only hope to survive. During a war, the soldiers in the Roman legions would take a great march that covered at least 30 miles per day. The legionnaires would march at the same speed while carrying their gladius, scutum, and pilum, which weigh over 20 kilograms. On top of that, they will also have to carry their sarkina, or backpack, which contains food and tools needed to build their camps. If unlucky, the soldier will be assigned as the first watch amidst exhaustion to guard the camp against enemies. Once his watch is over, it will only be then that he can sleep his exhaustion, only to wake up at dawn to prepare for another march ahead. As it was common for the legionnaires to march in areas that were beyond the empire's road system, the soldiers will then be tasked to build wide roads that were solid enough to allow easy transport of carts laden with supplies, as well as the marching of hundreds of legionnaires. As the roads were made by compacting different sizes of stones, building the roads while marching for battle may be time consuming, but it was one of the factors that contributed to the growth of the Roman Empire. It was their way of making a new territory, which also helped greatly in maintaining their power over the land. It may have been over 1,500 years since the fall of the Roman Empire, but its lasting effects remain to be felt in modern societies. From its influence in modern languages to modern infrastructure and the creation of modern laws, it is only evident that the ancient Roman Empire has stamped its interminable mark in the world. Its influence will remain and its history will be studied for hundreds or even thousands of years to come. However, without the Roman legionnaires, there would not have been an empire that created a huge contribution to the evolution of modern societies, technology, and science.
For a long time, Rome controlled a vast area of the world by creating the most insane killing machines that the world has ever seen. Indeed, the Roman Legion was a legend that never ceases to fascinate the world even up to this day. What interesting facts did we miss in today's video? Let us know in the comments below. To learn more about history's dark past, make sure you hit the subscribe button. From us at Bizarre History, thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.